Hey YouTube land, this is Tycander is doing another toy review and this time it's for the Mattel uh, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice 12 inch scale Wonder Woman. Now it comes she comes in this I'll just move it to the side this large window style packaging. If I just move the camera, you can see it has the image of her down the corner, the logo for the movie, name of where, which line she's from, Batman v Superman and then you got Wonder Woman and then her name repeated again in different languages on the top it says DC Comics Multiverse flipping around the side just a small side a bit of the logo and the rest of the open window for the box and then on the opposite side is you got her name uh, Batman v Superman again Wonder Woman then you got the picture image of the figure, well it's not an image of the figure, it's an illustration of the character inside. You can see she's holding her sword in two hands and she has a cloak. Again, as I said, um, I, as I don't remember even having a cloak in the film. Um, it's probably something that was more for the uh, Wonder Woman standalone film because I don't remember oh, I don't remember her actually having uh, the cloak. You can see it a bit better down the smaller uh, image. It kind of flows around. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've seen the film. So and then you got Wonder Woman repeated, and then at the very bottom it says Made in China, and on the back of the box you got an image of the figure. And you got a all the kind of legalese stuff at the bottom, the warnings and hazards and all that sort of stuff. Then you got a picture of the Henry Cavell Superman, the Batman armored up Batman, Ben Affleck Batman, and Wonder Woman. And they're the only three figures I can see I've seen in this line. It doesn't appear to be an unarmored version of Batman, which is kind of disappointing. It would have been nice to have the kind of three may or sorry the three four figures of like the main characters the armored batman and armored batman and then the two other heroes from the movie would have been nice to have um, kind of a lineup of those so just flipping the box around as i said she comes in the window style packaging and that's pretty much it for the box so if i just bring herself in to focus and I'll go through the articulation on her she's quite a nice figure she's nicely sculpted the uh, first off, I'll just bring her up close to see the lightness isn't too bad. Um, doesn't really look too much like it looks like a, a Gal Gadot from different ang from certain angles, but kind of front on it doesn't really look like her too much. But um, the only other thing is whatever way plastic they used for the skin is very kind of a glossy shine to it, so it's not as matte as some figures would be. Although the, the skin tone on kind of the rest of their body seems to be kind of a mash, it's just the face seems to be glossy. So, articulation for the figure itself is. Oops, bear with me. Articulation for the figure itself is she does actually have a head joint, but it's very hindered. Um, the hair is a sculpted on piece that's actually attached to the head. It's two separate pieces. The head, the head and face are one part, then the hair seems to be, you know, locked into place, but it's very hindered. It hinders the articulation very much. You can barely get a side to side on it, and there's no up and down. The hand, the arms are on a standard kind of shoulder joint that can go all the way around and go out and in on a kind of standard ball joint. The elbows are on another ball joint and can rotate around and go um, forward and backwards. Can't really go backwards too much. We can just go straight to do ni nice 90 degree. But there's no actual articulation in the wrist itself, even though it looks like it could have easily been added to the figure. There is waist articulation. Um, you now the way it's done is it's like a, just a cut in the mid section, so she can actually spin all the ways around. When you're turning the waist, it does look odd because it actually sticks over. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but it kind of sticks over her um, abdomen. So. It doesn't really go, look that great. But it would have been nicer if the skirt piece was actually soft enough fabric that it was attached to the top, and when you moved it, it moved with her waist. That way, it wouldn't have wouldn't look so awkward. Um, she does have a kind of T crotch kind of um, articulation, but she does have out to the side, so she can do splits, but she can only do them that much. Um, this skirt plate is, even though it's a kind of a, a rubbery plastic, it hinders their movement quite a lot on the legs. She can go forward about that much. She can't really go back at all 
and she has a single hinge on the knees and nothing on the ankles. Now the weird thing is if you look at the ankles, I'm not sure if I can bring it up closer on the camera, bear with me a moment. If you just see there, it looks like it was intended to have articulation on the ankles. There's like a, the way the feet are sculpted, it looks like it goes in and out and it looks like she would have had articulation, but it looks like it was dropped last minute. Um, one of the other things, one of the other things with the knees is, ooh, I just killed my lamp. One of the other things with the knees is the sculpting for the armor plate. It would have been nicer if this was all one piece because when you do the knee, it doesn't really move with it and it looks really awkward. But um, it does. She does. Can, uh, she can get some decent poses. It just looks a bit weird if you're trying to do kind of running poses or anything like that. Oh, let me just move the camera down a touch. Me a second. So she does kind of look a bit weird with her articulation points. Um, all in all, she's not a bad figure. I mean, I know there's probably there's possibly a Hot Toys figure out there for her, um, or there will be one made for her. But it's not. Um, I mean, for the price point of this figure, you're not going to get Hot Toys quality. Now, the only other thing I should say is that she comes with actually she actually comes with no accessories whatsoever, even though her um, bandolier is sculpted with a lasso that's sculpted in, and it comes with this kind of area where the sword would have been holstered. She actually comes with no accessories at all. So, seeing that. The sculpting, the overall sculpt work on the figure is very nice. I mean, if you're just looking for a decent version of the character for display, she's really, she's really good. She can, you can actually get, you can sort of get some interesting kind of uh, ready to punch kind of action poses out of her as well. But um, she is fairly limited, as I said. It would have been nice with the uh, wrist articulation just to get some kind of more or better articulate or better posing out of her but other than that she's actually a quite good figure uh, as I said for the price point you're paying you're not going to be getting um, Hot Toys qualities but she's a cheaper alternative and she's quite good even with those um, flaws that she has as I said she does she does stand quite well and she does display quite well as well so there you go guys, just a quick video review for the Wonder Woman, uh, Batman v Superman Wonder Woman figure. It's the 12 inch version, not the 6 inch. Um, for some reason, they uh, or local, the local chain store, toy chain store, have these on sale. Whereas they didn't get any of the 6 inch figures at all. All they, had was the, all they have is these ones and the basic kind of um, figures with kind of weird vinyl capes and stuff like that and they have a few waves of those but they don't have any other figures from this series so there you go guys quick video review hope you enjoyed the review um hope to get a few more reviews done I have a few figures backlog that i want to review and i've just been quite busy i've started a course a college course so i'm kind of busy at the moment so i'm trying to get through stuff so there you go guys hope you enjoyed the review and as i always say if you look want to subscribe to my channel feel free to subscribe if you want to comment feel free to comment and if you want to um, like the video please feel free to like the video as well so hope you enjoy the review guys